Nancy Pelosi got her hair blown and set. <laughs> Halfway, she sends a clear message. She's not moving anything, let alone her stimulus package price or her hair in the next few weeks. The good news is that if her hair starts to look like crap, we'll understand that it'll be more sincere when she says children going hungry. <laughs>
a, a base level because he wants Republicans and Democrats in the Senate to add things onto it to get it going, but he doesn't want to pile everything onto it. This is supposed to be a very tightly done bill to get this relief out fast. So if, for example, the, ba the bill debuts and dependence under stimulus checks is $500, Stay calm. It doesn't mean it's going to stay at $500. That's the way it's going to start. Meadows specifically says, we need to get this going and we need to get going. Um, but I don't want anyone to overthink when they see something. That's the first thing. So you got that. The next one is that this is not going to be your only stimulus package between now and the next couple of weeks. What Meadows is going to do and when I say Meadows, I have to choose a person's name, Meadows, Mnuchin's, and, and McConnell. What they're going to do is they're going to use that stimulus package for those items, checks, FPUC, rent, mortgage, airlines, testing, and schools, and then do another stimulus package right after it for other things, bailout of states, PPP, um, hopefully hazard pay. We don't know about hazard pay. Watch my hazard pay video earlier today. That will come after it. Uh, one thing I have not made very clear, so I want to make very clear right now. When would the second bill be? i got to be very frank to you. I think it won't be till October. Because the next thing they have to do is they have to do the balance budget for the for the government. You know, the, 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 the federal budget, which is due September 30th. they got 15 days to do the first stimulus package and the budget, all within 15 days. So to say they can do a third stimulus bill, in this, I, just don't, I just don't think they have enough time. So it would be in October. Um, that is that. The next thing you need to understand is things don't go um, immediate. So I've had people ask in the comments, okay, what day is the bill going to get voted on next week? Wait a second. <laughs> Hold a second. Hold up. Meadow says he believes that once the bill is introduced next week, it'll get all approved within one week. Now, remember, this is Meadows' representation. I'm not there. I'm not a senator. I'm not voting. I'm not riding. I'm not being paid to be a congressman. I'm not there. I'm telling you what his representations are, but these are representations by a lot of people, not just him. So understand that's where we are. When the bill is introduced next week, you don't get a vote that same minute. So I have some people in the comments thinking, asking if there's going to be a vote the same day. For example, they're saying, asking, is there going to be a vote? What day is the vote uh, going to happen next week? Uh, it's unlikely that a vote would happen instantly the same day. I mean, no one votes on a bill within two minutes. Uh, Meadows says he thinks it's all going to get it approved within one week. Uh, people are also saying, what day is it going to become a law next week? It's not going to become a law next week. It can't become a law next week. I mean, you have to have a day for the House to send, uh, vote on it, a day for the Senate to vote on it, a day for the President to vote on it, to sign it, not in that order necessarily. Um, so things just don't happen in one day. Next, some people said, what day next week am I getting my check? You're not getting a stimulus check next week. I mean, I'm, I've got, I, I want to make this very clear, and I hopefully I'm making it clear, that you first have to have the bill introduced. Then you have to have the vote on the bill. The bill is introduced next week. The vote on the bill is within one week. Then they have to send out the money. These are all uh, Meadows' timelines. So I don't want someone to come back and say, you said it was going to be law in one week. I didn't say that. Okay, so I want to be very, very clear. Someone also dropped in the comments yesterday, I just want to respond to this, that I said you're getting $2,000 checks. I never said that. I said that there's still a bill on the Senate floor for $2,000 checks. It's still on the table, as is the Romney plan for hazard pay, as is the Warren plan for rent. There are bills on the table. So I have never said that you're going to get one thing versus a $2,000 check for, for every month for six months. All right, so let's get back to the Senate. Once it's voted upon and approved, then it goes to the House of Whore. The House of Whore, well, I should actually just make it a little clearer than that, it goes to the House. <laughs> um, 
despite the fact it is in the house with a person who apparently has a very nice hairstyle now, uh, that doesn't mean that she kills it. It doesn't mean that she can kill it. Ultimately, the house is controlled by Democrats, yes, but one, those Democrats are up for re-election. Two, the election is very close when we're talking about September. The election is around the corner. For them to deny a bill landing in their house is going to look very, very bad. Three, Senate, excuse me, House Democrats are already on board to approve this because they've told, that's what Edwards, excuse me, that's what Meadows has said. Fourth, there is this flock of, you know, 200, 100 um, House Democrats. Democrats who already have written the Princess of Pettiness saying we need this and they're getting this from the Senate as an approved bill next week or, or, or at the end of the week. So to say that it's landing, you know, the place where the woman has a really nice hairstyle now, that's just not to, something for you to worry about. It's simply, you need to understand that. How quickly thereafter does the president sign it, he, would, he could sign it within the next day. And then what? Okay, so we're talking about eviction moratorium or mortgage forbearance law effective that minute. So let's say the bill signed is signed, you know, September 20th. It means you could not be evicted as of that very moment. So even if you had eviction notice or something was pending in the courts, it would stop it. It would be a federal law that would stop it. Um, FPUC, how soon would you see the money after the president signs the bill? I have always said that it would likely be about a week, but could be up to two weeks. I don't see it longer than that. States are very quick on the computers. I'm not going to repeat a lot what I said before. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bugs and my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I might have to get my hair done now. Um, FPC would likely uh, rand in your account within one, one week to two weeks because it doesn't require that long for states to get that funds from the federal government. Finally, uh, checks. About 10 days. About 10 days by electronic receipt, and then you would add maybe three days for routing times. If your st if your bank is slow on routing, undoing processing direct deposits, some states, some banks do them literally the same day. So then you would say 10 days. If you get things by paper check, um, even uh, you would add maybe two more three days to that. And there you go. A lot of stuff to remember, a lot of stuff to think about, and a lot of stuff to stay focused on. Um, do me a couple favors. First, uh, subscribe to this channel. The subscription numbers have been really good. We're at 230 today. Incredible. Our goal is to reach 250,000. Add 20,000 more in the next two weeks. Let's do it. Uh, hit that subscribe and alert button on the front of this channel. Next, like this video. Uh, the goal is to really keep on keeping the likes of the video going. You really helped this morning. Morning's L8, I think, had almost 15,000 likes, which is incredible. I asked for 20,000. So really good. The importance about likes is not just... It's not just for me, it's for other people. Why I say that is because it puts this video that has so much information higher in the rankings so that people who are new to YouTube and are looking out for information find this video ripe with a lot of information and it shows them what you have just learned. Instead of seeing videos that say, there's a $900 stimulus check going out tomorrow, or there was a stimulus deal vote today, or you're gonna get a stimulus check tomorrow. All that horrible stuff should not be ranking higher. And by getting likes of this video higher, you know, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 likes of this video, it puts it higher in the rankings. Meantime, join me tomorrow morning on LA it's at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with more fun, more information, and more morning tea. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay focused, and stay up LA. Good morning.